Welcome to Newsmakers. Last week, we caught the Guerrilla Stitch Brigade preparing to yarn bomb the county board chair's chair. Here's what happened. Well, I'm here with a group of people from the Artisphere Yarn Bomb Project, um, and we are yarn bombing Mary Hines' chair. <laughs> oh, look, it's got my initials on it. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Okay, are you the artist? <laughs> I'm the organizer. You're the organizer. Oh, this is, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awesome. Well, yarn bombing is really a new form of street art that's sweeping the country and the world. And it's a way for people to go out and do something harmless and fun and beautiful and creative. It's just a form of expression in yarn, um, using knitting or crochet or other fiber techniques. Usually it's done in the middle of the night and the next morning you wake up and something in your, your common commute or where you walk around looks completely different. Ah, but they even did my gavel. <laughs> I'm Jennifer Lindsay, the leader of the Artisphere Yarn Bombs Guerrilla Stitch Brigade, and Ms. Hines, your chair has just been yarn bombed. <laughs> I want to thank the staff who helped us infiltrate the offices of the Arlington County for this artistic cause. This yarn bomb would not be possible without Ms. Hines' support and commitment to public art and public engagement. But yarn bombing the chair's chair is just a teaser because the Artisphere Yarn Bomb is a family-friendly outdoor community fiber art project I'm coordinating for Artisphere, the Roslyn Business Improvement District, Arlington Public Art, and Arlington Public Library that is open to everyone. And um, this project has grown from just yarn bombing the trees on the way to Artisphere to a whole other um, secret guerrilla yarn bombing that's going to take place in the spring that we can't tell you about, but this is just an indication of... This of, is a taste, this right? Is, this is a taste, yes. You don't have to know how to knit or crochet, so beginners are welcome, and their pieces will be used and every bit as important as the, the pieces that more advanced people create. We have a number of places where people are meeting all throughout the community, but the main place that we're meeting is at Artisphere on Wednesday evenings from now through the end of February. And we're meeting from 6 to 9 p.m. in the Upper Town Hall, which is a really extraordinary and beautiful space with lots of comfortable types of seating, tables and chairs, and sofas and couches. Have a seat. I am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't go up there, though. This is in my office. Do oh, so I get to keep it in my office? <laughs> knitting alone is really fun, but knitting in a big group of people is about the most fun thing I can imagine doing. <laughs> <laughs>